Emilio Vasquez is an award-winning and celebrated American artist, educator, and community art organizer who was declared by his peers the godfather of Chicano art. During a 50-plus year career, he created over 400 oil paintings and works and more than 22 murals in North Orange County, California. Emikio was always pleased to discuss art and his works as well as encourage art appreciation and participation. Newspapers, magazines, and television writers have interviewed Emikio. Nominated by the United Artists of Santa Ana, he was bestowed the Maestro Award by the Los Angeles Land and the California Arts Council in recognition for his cultural involvement and contributions to art entitled him El Maestro. This is his story. Emikio Chavez Vasquez was born in the historic mining town of Jerome, Arizona in 1939 to Santiago Vasquez and Guadalupe Chavez, who immigrated from Jalisco, Mexico in 1924. He was number eight of ten children. When Emikio was two years old, his family left Jerome because the Phillips Dodge copper mines where his father worked were downsizing. Emikio's family moved to Orange, California to join relatives who were working in the agricultural industry. His father worked at the shipyard in San Pedro during World War II. His older brothers picked oranges and his sisters worked in the orange packing house. Their combined work efforts enabled the family to buy a house on Cypress Street. As a child, he loved reading comic books. This interest led him to draw the characters he saw in the comics. Emikio grew in confidence to create his own storylines with inspiration from stories about the Mexican Revolution as told by his father's experiences growing up during the peak of the war. In the early 1950s, Emikio attended Modern Day, a private high school in Santa Ana, California, where he studied art and gained encouragement from his instructors. During this time and through his formative years, Emikio was living in Orange Barrio, Cyprus. In 1958, Emikio married Rose Lopez. In their small studio apartment in Orange, Emikio's first makeshift art studio was on a dining room table. Children came quickly, and when a converted garage apartment behind his parents' house became available, he moved his growing family. Emikio enjoyed painting outdoors due to natural light, and Rosie appreciated the break from oil paint and solvent odors in her home. Not yet to the level of the fine detailed artist he was to become, his paintings reflected the broad brushstrokes of an impressionist artist. In the mid-1960s, inspired by Mexican muralist, Emikio painted his first mural in his parents' patio, Pancho Villa, on his horse. Seeking an opportunity where he could apply his art skills, Emikio worked at Europe Art Limited in Santa Ana, California, where he was a production line artist that mass-produced paintings for furniture stores and he painted under the pseudonym Chavez. The unexpected benefit from this undertaking was that he learned how to paint fast, which would be essential to his mural painting in the future. And with a growing level of confidence, he felt inspired to leave secure employment to venture into a full-time art career. In the 1970s, Rosie's mother lived in Barrio La Conga in Anaheim. Her weekend visits lasted all day, and Emikio found a way to better enjoy his time. Surrounded by weathered cars and aging self-made homes, Emikio conceptualized them as interesting subjects that he painted plein air. This was the beginning of a signature gritty style. From this environment, among his paintings were La Carucha del Kiko, La Carucha del Kiko II, and The Shack. In 1979, several of his paintings were used in a movie titled Only Once in a Lifetime. The movie storyline paralleled Emikio's current reality, as it portrayed an artist who painted gritty subjects like street scenes, humble people, and rundown neighborhoods. The star of this movie would take his paintings to galleries to sell, but he was told by gallery owners and some buyers that the colors were too intense and the subject matter too limited, and to stay away from subjects that no one would buy. He was advised to paint something in light pastel colors and focus on more innocuous subject matter like flowers or seascapes. He was further advised that their clients want safe art, art that looks good with their furniture. And as in the movie, Amikio also had to paint more innocuous works such as flowers so he could earn a living, but he liked painting what he considered real life shown in such works as black lung. 
the vigil and candy dancers. Shunned by galleries, Emikio begun to exhibit and sell his art at indoor and outdoor malls. And although hard to believe, he sold some of his paintings for as little as $75. In the late 1970s, the city of Anaheim approached Emikio to develop an anti-graffiti program for the city, where he worked with inner city kids to direct them towards positive endeavors like painting. In the 1980s through the 1990s, Emikio painted the majority of his murals, including a mural sponsored by Carl Karcher, founder of Carl's Jr., titled Towards the 21st Century, and it was located in Anaheim. Emikio's murals, due to the amount of detail, were more like large-scale paintings. Also regarding murals, Emikio was concerned that he was being typecast as a mural painter, and he considered himself a painter with no medium boundaries. In the mid-1980s, Amikio was resident artist from 1985 to 1988 at the Bowers Museum in Santa Ana, where he held painting classes as well as painting a 100-foot mural in 1987 titled Visions of Orange County. Through many of his murals, Amikio documented the Chicano experience in Southern California. He is well known for the 1997 mural titled Legacy of Cesar Chavez, which is located in the lobby of the Cesar Chavez Business and Computer Center in Santa Ana College. Emikio's paintings embodied many aspects of life, and in a few of these paintings, he included himself as a participant in the scene. In his portraits, he captured the essence of character in a lifetime of human struggle. His still life paintings are windows to the foods and beverages he loved, and his painting style was influenced by the great Dutch masters whom he studied and admired. Emikio rarely traveled out of California, but his landscapes seem to contradict this fact. His landscapes and historical scenes are evident of his mental travels. Several groups have recognized Emikio for his contributions to art. In 2004, Emikio was inducted into Santa Ana College Alumni Hall of Fame, where he earned his bachelor's degree. In 2007, Cal State Fullerton, where he had earned a master's degree, recognized Emikio as one of the 50 most influential Hispanic graduates from his 50 years of existence. Over the next few years, Emikio slowed down productive painting. He provided more sage advice to aspiring artists, including his art-inclined children. In fact, Emikio has three children that are artists, Adolf, a digital artist, Rosemary Vasquez Tuthill, who is now a full-time oil painter, and Emikio Jr., also known as Higgy, does mural restoration, and creates a variety of visual art. Emikio received further recognition when on May 25, 2013, Emikio's birthday, the mayor of Santa Ana proclaimed, May 25th is the Emikio Vasquez Day in the city of Santa Ana, now and forevermore. Also in 2013, Chapman University contacted Emikio about a mural he had painted in 1978 on the outside walls of apartments the university had recently acquired. Chapman wanted him to restore the mural, but he was not physically able. But fortunately, he had a spare, Emikio Jr., who took on the mural restoration. Emikio visited the site because he wanted to reestablish his connection with the mural and what it meant to him. Emikio, with failing health, passed away August 9, 2014 in Newport Beach, California. He was 75 years old. Notification of his death was written in newspapers the world over. On the website, VasquezArt.com, you can see and purchase limited edition Emikio Vasquez Legacy Art. Cantando el gustito estaba Cuando me quedé dormido Cuando me quedé dormido Cantando el gustito estaba